Hey, how are y'all? Hope you're doing well. Hope everything went well. It is, uh, it's, uh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's 1040 p.m. It's been a great day. Great day. I've been trying for the past few weeks to go to bed a little earlier and wake up just a little bit early. I mean, 30 minutes to an hour earlier makes a, uh, a big difference going to bed um, 30 minutes to an hour earlier, waking up 30 minutes. Uh, the world is so different early in the morning. It's, uh, it's really cool to see, uh, God's creation come alive, the sunrise or, or the rain as the heat comes in and the birds fly by and the, the frogs croak, croak are early in the morning and the, uh, yeah, it's in the, the birds making their noises, pretty, pretty cool, but then there's this cool peace, this cool silence early in the morning. It's pretty nice. Late at night, it's pretty peaceful too, and late at night you can be, uh, pretty productive. I mean, uh, don't do mindless, senseless stuff, try to pursue pursue things that are uh, godly or something that maybe will help out help you out in your life benefit you to help you uh, glorify God or help your family out or your co-workers or your job uh, yeah cool benefiting others serving others loving others loving God and loving others and taking care of his sheep uh, yeah so cool three minute devotion three minute devotion it is titled four taste of heaven it is from Luke 7:22. This is a three-minute devotion book. It's a, it's a three-minute way, according to the title, to devote time to God. It's a little way uh, to get your focus, uh, get you back zeroed in on God, uh, and start to... Um, I do it at night just to start to uh, wind down and get my focus back where it needs to be, even though I pray that God is with me all the time, all the time, wherever I go, whatever I may be doing. If it's at work or anywhere, anywhere, but uh, this would be special time, special time, one-on-one -on -one time with God. Uh, when you're alone with God, it's really special. It, um, you can get a really close relationship, and you can open up about a lot of things uh, that you need uh, to open up about, whether it's uh, good things or bad things, or you need healings in your life, or uh, things definitely taken out of your life that are still affecting you. Uh, so yeah, pray about that pray about that but devotions are inspired by the word of god know the word of god meditate on it on it day and night keep it close to your heart uh super important you'll find out why uh, the <laughs> the word of god is inspired by god and it, it is our instruction book our roadmap, our playbook it's got so much prophecy in there from the old testament about what was going to happen in the new testament it still applies today so if you don't know what to do in a situation that you have, uh, go to the Bible and see what it says. See what God says about it. All right, that's the, the easiest way how to respond. Uh, sometimes it might be be still and know that I am God, or or Philippians four thirteen, uh, or I can do all. Yeah, I can do all things through God who gives me strength. You know, I really can. Or if something is permissible but not beneficial. You know, you can do it, but no. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> know the word of God. Uh, wear it. Use it as armor, too. Alright, cool. Let's see what this says. These are always exciting. Cool. The blind receive sight and lame walk. Those who have leprosy are cleansed and deaf hear. The dead are raised and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Luke 7.22 Jesus Christ's earthly ministry gave people foretaste of what his eternal kingdom is like. They saw individuals raised from the dead, others healed spiritually, others healed physically, and still others healed psychologically. As a follower of Jesus Christ, you know your sins, past, present, and future, are already forgiven, yet you experience his forgiveness anew each time you confess your sins. Immediately afterward, you want to pause and savor the experience of being forgiven. If you do, you enjoy a delicious foretaste of heaven. Even though your salvation is all-encompassing, it, it doesn't mean you don't sin any more than it means you never get sick, never suffer trials, never wrestle with temptation, never fail, never fear cancer, and never end up dying. Aren't these the means of helping you to, to continue longing from, for heaven? That's a good way to look at it. 
Slow down and savor each foretaste experience this side of eternity. These are Jesus Christ's rich and valuable gifts to you. Hmm. Let your kingdom come, your will be done uh, here, here on earth as it is in heaven, right? We want heaven to come down to here. Uh, God already did. He got off the throne one time and came down here, right? He's going to do it again. But his Holy Spirit's here too. It's the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. It's pretty excellent. So heaven does come down here. When you call on him, he will hear you and he will come and he will help you. All right, it's pretty awesome. And uh, the biggest one is that he will love on you. Cool. All right, cool. So let's see. What do you think, Stormy? Dear Jesus, as I spend time in your presence, I, I get a taste of what heaven will be like. Help me to count all the ways you give me a foreshadowing of the riches of your kingdom. It's going to be the people in your life, the things you experience, things around you. That they're amazing. The things you get to do and experience. Uh, yeah. So. I had a good conversation today. I just, just. I'm around a lot of sick people. Or hurt people in a, in a hospital. And have physical therapy attached to a to a gym. Physical therapy. Man, a lot of times people going through that. They've gone through something really bad. But now it's not just physical. It's like speech therapy and occupational therapy too. Yeah, some really, really, really bad situations may have happened and it changed the person's life and maybe their spouse's life for a long time. So if you're believers, I would encourage you, hope to believe that the, the truths and promises of the Bible, the things that have happened in the Bible, what Luke 7.22 still apply today. And some might say that we have the same power inside of us. So when a Christian doesn't believe and miracles that this person can be healed from the the effects of a stroke or a heart attack uh, or MS or Parkinson's I believe I just really I have no choice but to believe I mean that's faith all right if it doesn't I still believe I mean is it wrong to believe no it's not God created everything he does miracles and he still does them today every day all right and he'll do it for you too so just believe all right if somebody asks you how that's going or how that's going for them all well, the doctors said that they'll have this and they're not going to get better all we can do is maintain it i don't want to hear that especially from a christian's mouth god don't want to hear that either you obviously don't know who your father is you don't know the word of god cool all right three minute devotional stay in a close relationship with god that'll be through doing devotionals being in prayer uh being in prayer Meditating on the Word of God, knowing the Word of God, getting on your knees and talking to Father God. Talk to Him, alright? Just Abba, Father, how would you just talk to your Father? Alright, just do it. Just sitting there talking to your Father. <laughs> the things you would say to Him. Uh, the things if your dad has passed that you'd want to say to your dad. Just say it to Father God, alright? Your dad will get the message. <laughs> alright? Love you all. Stay. Pray for me. Pray for my friends and my family. Uh, pray for insight. We always need knowledge, wisdom, and insight. I always pray for that. All right, for my friends too, believers and non-believers. All right, just not to go through the motions, being the same year after year after year. That they learn something new and they change and they evolve. Uh, yeah, cool. Let your will be done. Let heaven, heaven come. All right, heaven come. I love it. Cool. Holy Spirit, come on. Love y'all. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm. We will be ending the video.